Welcome to SciSci Tuts. My name is Jason Kirchy. I'm your host, and today we're going to learn all about tagging on Facebook. Um, I had a lot of questions about this. Exactly, what does it mean? How do I tag? Um, how do I post on other people's Facebook pages under my brand's name instead of me, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. So today we're going to cover that. So let's get started. I'm going to open up a new internet window. Um, and again, I, I'm on a Mac. You may be on a PC. I use Firefox. You may use Internet Explorer. They're just computers and internet browsers. They all do the same thing. But I'm going to start out by going to facebook.com slash pcbdaily. Did I spell it? Yes, I did spell it right. Sometimes I misspell things. Um, and so tagging is really simple. So what tagging is, it allows you to... Um, well, put simply, it allows you to post something on somebody else's page um, as your brand, and it's real simple. And you, you actually saw me tag people before uh, in one of the in one of the previous tutorials. Actually, I think it was in the last tutorial. But you can do it in all of these things, and I'm going to show you how to do it in status. And it's the exact same way to do it in any of these other ones. But just to keep it brief, I'm going to show you how to do it in status. And so, um, let's see here. Uh, I'm going to tag Panama City Beach again. Um, you know what? I'm not. I'm going to give love to uh, to one, some of our friends over there at Shipwreck Island. Um, and I'm going to say, uh, did you know that Shipwreck might help if I actually tagged it? At Shipwreck Island. Oh, there it is. So um, is opening and just let's go over here to facebook.com slash shipwreck. Let's see here. So on um, January 6th, I said they're opening 114 days. Okay, so I'm going to come over here. I'm going to go, did you know that Shipwreck Island Water Park is opening in just over 100 days? What's your favorite thing about the park? Okay, so you noticed something. When I typed in Shipwreck Island Water Park, I started by typing the at symbol. And so as soon as you type the at symbol, the at symbol it starts giving you um, a choice on who you want to tag. So I type the at symbol. I'm going to start typing Shipwreck. And you see, I've liked the Shipwreck Island Facebook page, so there it is. It comes up as, as one of the things that I can pick to tag. Um, if you haven't liked that brand's page, you can't tag them. It won't let you tag them. So you've got to go like them if you haven't liked them. So since that's come up, I'm going to hit enter or I can just click on it and it fills in the rest. It puts the full page name in there. Sometimes that's cool. Sometimes it's a little frustrating, but that's what it does. You can't do anything about it. So there it is, Shipwreck Island Water Park. You can notice that text looks um, just a little bit different than the other text. Um, once I hit share, it makes that text, Shipwreck Island Water Park, an active hyperlink. You see that? It's an active hyperlink. So when I click on that, it takes me over to the Shipwreck Island Facebook page. And guess what happens? Now that I'm there at the Shipwreck Island Facebook page, notice something? There I am. Panama, uh, PCB Daily. Um, you see that there is a message. That same message I, you just saw me post is posted not only over on the PCB Daily Facebook page right there at the top, but it's also posted over there on the Shipwreck Island Facebook page Look um, as being posted from PCBDaily.com, not me as a user. If I was to post something here as a status, it would come up as me, Jason Kirchy. But no, I've posted as PCB Daily. So that's really cool. So that does a couple of things. The A, that lets me post as my brand on somebody else's page. And B, it lets me post as my brand on somebody else's page and allows Shipwreck Island's 10,363 fans coverage. They can see PCB Daily. I get to plug PCB Daily on their page. And it's an active hyperlink back. And so it's great. You can also come back here to the page. You can do the exact same thing under posting a link. So if I wanted to publish a link, um, post the link back to pcbdaily.com. Check, oops, pcbdaily.com. And I can go, let's pick a, a picture. I don't know, that picture will work. Check out the latest news and information um, hey at shipwreck check out the latest news and information 
on at Panama City Beach. Oh, look at that. I tagged two people in that post. That's pretty cool. Hey, Shipwreck Island, check out the latest news and information on Panama City Beach. So now, once I hit share, that link is going to be shared on two separate fan pages in addition to PCB Daily. So I can click on Shipwreck Island, and bam, it's right there at the top. No, it's not right there at the top. Why isn't it right there at the top? Maybe it takes a second to refresh. Wonderful. That's just great. It's at the top at the top of uh, Panama City beaches, but it's not at the top of Shipwreck Island. Wonderful. Um, well, I'm gonna have to splice this in, and I'm gonna have to fix this. So I can also do the same thing whenever I'm publishing a link. So I can take a link, and let's go over here to pcbdaily.com, and let's grab, you know what, let's just grab a link to pcbdaily.com. We're going to go pcb, hp, colon, daily.com, and I'm going to click attach, and I'm going to go, I'm just going to say no thumbnail for this, I'm going to go, hey, at shipwreck check out the latest news and information information I need to learn how to speak don't I um, about Panama let's capitalize that Panama City Beach I'm gonna hit share and so here it is it's published on pcbdaily.com's PCB Facebook fan page Shipwreck Island's an active hyperlink if I click over there here it is so now I'm, I'm on Shipwreck Island's page. I'm linking back to PCBDaily.com from Shipwreck Island's page tagging um, through tagging Shipwreck Island right from the Facebook page of PCB Daily. So that's, that's awesome, isn't it? This will change your life. Well, this will totally change how you do social media anyway. It will allow you to get your brand in front of the, uh, the people of your competition's brands, of relevant brands in your area, whatever. Um, so this is really, really a great tool, and it's very simple and easy to use. You can tag people anywhere you want. You can tag people on photos. You can do this anywhere, almost anywhere within the Facebook platform. In fact, the only place I found that you can't do it that I can think of off the top of my head is in comments. You can't tag people in comments. So other than that, um, go out, do it, tag people, have fun, enjoy it. And uh, once again, this is your host, Jason Kirchie with CyberSites. And stay tuned at youtube.com slash for future social media tutorials. With that, we'll see you on the interwebs.